when I was a kid growing up uh, at my grandma's house back in the I, I started climbing trees when did I start climbing trees oh probably 19 you know at that I would just get tall enough where I could reach the bottom limb of the of a tree or of a limb uh, when I was growing up at my grandma's house in Mainville, Ohio, Warren County, in the back of her yard, I mean at the very end of her yard, she had this huge tree, tall tree, had these huge limbs. And I was asking my, now my aunt passed away in 2008, my mom's sister, and I was asked, before she died, I asked my aunt, I said, uh, was that was that tree huge because we was kids, or was it really huge? She said, "No, it was really huge." She says, "Not because you was kids, we was always afraid you'd fall out." Yeah, she said, "You're right." She said, "Hit," you know. Then she was probably about thirty years old, my mom's sister, but she says, "You're right. It did. It actually had huge limbs." Now you're saying to yourself, "Well, why did you climb it?" Well, you got to understand, when, we, when I started climbing trees, probably about 1972, 1973, somewhere in there, I'll say about 1972, when I got big enough to reach the bot, huge limb at the bottom of this tree, when I was old enough to reach it, I started climbing. That's just the way you did things back in my days. We had no technology. Uh, video games did not exist. Not at least for the consumer. We had no 500 channels on TV. We only had four. Grandma never wanted a TV on. She wanted us outside to play. But we had no technology to keep us uh, occupied. We climbed trees out of boredom. But anyway, my cousin who was three years older, he would always climb to the top. Real, real tall tree. And we always went to my grandma's, uh, uh, always on the Sunday, but sometimes on the Wednesday night. Sometimes Tuesday, sometimes Thursday, but on average, we always went on the Wednesday night if Dad wasn't too tired from work. So, Wednesday and always Sunday, we climb his tree. My sister would, but she was younger, so she stayed at the bottom. So, this is on the Sunday, one evening... We was climbing a tree. This is probably, well, this was uh, 72, 73. Anyway, I got my nerve up to climb to the top with him. He's already at the top. Well, I got to the top, and, and it, I almost, the limbs are so big around, so huge, I almost fell. Anyway, I didn't realize how late it was, and Dad come walk to the tree, tell us it's time to go home. When I looked down to see my now my dad was a big guy. When I looked down to see my dad, he looked about that small. He looked about the size of an ant. That's that's how high we was up. But you know, I think that fear of climbing that tree all those years, it's probably saved my life. It's, it's, it put fear into me. Let's fast forward today, 45 years later. I think that's what's getting a lot of these young people killed. They ain't got fear built into them. Or I do. So I think climbing that tree all those years has put the fear into me and probably saved me many a time. I'm, in other words, I'm extra, extra careful in today's life, in today's living. But... Oh my God, I mean, we climbed that tree all the time. I, I, from 1972 to 1979, because my grandma, for her health, she sold the place and moved to Florida on her doctor's recommendation. So she sold the house. So from 1972 to 1979, we never missed climbing that tree every Sunday. Every Wednesdays, every, every Sunday. But God, you get up there, it, God, it was high. Oh God, and, cli and going down, 
man, your hands, your palms, your hands will be sweaty and holding on. Huge, it's hard to hold on those huge limbs. Slowly climb up and slowly climb down. You had to be extra, extra careful. Oh, it just, oh my God. I'll never forget my dad walking up to the tree. Kids were going home. I looked down at him. <laughs> he just, he, big guy, he, but he, that high, he looked so small, my dad. <laughs> oh, it was high. But my aunt says it was really a big tree. It's not because you were kids, she told me, but it really was a big tree. Oh, I tell you what, I'm lucky. All of us kids are lucky. We didn't fall out and break our necks. But that's just the way it was. No, uh, my mom and dad would tell us to be careful, but that's just the way uh, uh, 1972 was. You know, we didn't have no technology. <laughs> you know, yeah, our mom and dad, my mom and dad worried. But that's, that's just the way life was in 1972. Now, I've got a video link uh, up in the upper right-hand corner called Hanging Out Thousand Feet Over Central Park. After you watch me here, I want you to click on the video I got linked upper right-hand corner. If you think climbing the trees high, watch this guy climb a thousand feet. The video's linked upper right hand corner. Be, be sure you click and watch it on after you watch me here. But I kind of know how he feels the adrenaline. Of course, he's a thousand feet. I don't know how high that tree was. But it was, oh, it was high, man. We, we climbed it all the time. And we never got, none of us never got hurt from it. Ain't that crazy? Now, I don't want to uh, say in this video it will cause a kid to go out and climb a tree and get hurt or, or be killed. Don't do that. If you do climb a tree, be extra, extra, extra careful. Okay, be safe about it. But I started climbing trees at a young age. You know, I, I'm on that bike and I don't, I don't hear kids outside climbing trees. I don't see kids outside climbing trees no more. No, that's a thing of the past. They're inside playing their video games. I actually feel sorry for them. I don't want them to get hurt climbing a tree. But they don't know what a childhood is. Video games have took that away from them. Don't, I'm not against video games. But when it interferes, when you're supposed to have a childhood and it interferes, that's when I'm against them. I love video games, but not when it takes away severely from your childhood. Again, don't go out and get hurt. No, just be extra careful. I'd rather you not. If I had kids, I wouldn't want them climbing a tree, because I did. No, too dangerous. But that's the way it was in my days. From 1972, when I started climbing the tree, Grandma's tree, in her backyard to 1979 